Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ruth, also known as Daily Delivery on the Poshmark app. And I am sharing my Poshmark journey with you. I started by showing you a tour of my office and what that looks like. And it's not quite completed yet, but once it is, I will put up a new video showing you um, what it looks like. I still have a few more little tweaks to make to it. A little bit of painting and a few things um, that I'm gonna decorate with. So not quite there, but getting there. And this week I'm going to be sharing my inventory with you. And that's going to be how I store my inventory, bag my inventory up and get it ready to be sold. So let's start with what I started using. So when I first started at listing on Poshmark, I wasn't quite sure how to package the product and get it out to the customer. So I watched a few videos and settled on some items that I thought, oh, that might work for me. So this is how I did it. I purchased these bags at Walmart. These are just twist tie bread bags. It's a hundred bags um, in box. It's about $3, so maybe a little bit over $3. This worked great, pretty simple. So here's what the bag looks like. It's just a simple bag, has an opening. You put your item in and what I would do is I would fold this over and I would stick washi tape or a sticker or something on the back of it. Then I would put a label on it. This is just um, duck masking tape. I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't say the size of it, but it's maybe an inch. And I would write the inventory number on there and put it on the bag and then stick it in a box. Worked out great. So this is what it would look like. So here's the bag. There's the item. These are a pair of jeans. And um, like I said, I would fold it over and then stick the tape on there. The problem I was having is when I tried to take this off, it's not coming off. All right, I'm trying to, it's not. So what would happen is I would end up making a hole in the bag trying to get the inventory sticker off. And when I tried to take this off, same issue, it would create a hole. So I ended up having to use two bags instead of one, which is wasteful. And it was not worth it for me. I would also send these little thank you notes. I scrapbook, so I had paper available. This was extra. I cut it out. It's double-sided. I would leave this side just like it is. And then on this side, I would write my thank you note. It worked out great. Only problem is I had an accident. It was a little over a year ago where I stretched all the nerves in my hand and I have been in therapy for a year. And my handwriting is disgusting. It is not like it was before. And I'm trying to train my hand to work like it used to. So I didn't really like the way that it looked. I wanted something different and I wanted it to look a little more professional. Now, if this is all you can afford to do, go with that. So this is what I changed it to. These are just basic plastic, I think they're called poly bags. You stick your item in, you fold it up, and it's ready to go. Now, this is what I liked about these. You peel it off, you stick it, it's closed. What works great about these is sometimes a buyer might have a question about measurements or wash, how to wash an item. It's simple, you go to the item, you take it off, once you're done doing your measurements or looking at the care of the item, you close it back up, done. I love this because it was a resealable bag. So then I decided that I would switch over to a printed label on my item instead of handwritten. And so I wanted to do something that was simpler for me. So I purchased these. These are just basic shipping labels. There's nothing to them. It's actually a sticker. So you 
peel it off. And I decided that I would put these on the outside of my package. I purchased these from the Dollar Tree. Here's what it looks like. 18 labels for a dollar. So then let me show you the poly mailers. So these are U line. Let me see if I can show you. 11 by 14. And the reason I chose this is because the size was perfect for shoes. It was perfect for jeans. It was perfect for sweaters. It was perfect for blazers, skirts, whatever I'm selling. I can fold the bag to fit the need of the item that I have. It works out great. Now, if you need smaller, they have smaller. If you need bigger, they have bigger. Those just happen to be the size that works for me. Now, let me show you what the finished product looks like. So here it is. There's my thank you sticker. Here's the item in the package. These are actually Betsy Johnson shoes. They're gorgeous. They're in my closet if you want to take a look at them. They're sparkly and silver. Uh, unfortunately, I have no place to wear them, so I'm not keeping them. They're beautiful shoes, though. And here's a thank you sticker. And basically what the sticker says is thank you for purchasing the, and then I have the name of the item that they've purchased. At the bottom, it has my name, Ruth, and then my closet name at Daily Delivery. And I wanted to personalize this because I wanted the buyer to know who it is that appreciates a purchase. And it just gave it a personal touch. Now, I included these stickers. This is actually a washi tape on the top of it. But you don't have to do that. You don't have to invest in the washi tape. You can simply go onto Word and create a um, art word art and you can do that as your thank you it's whatever is simplest and whatever is cheapest that's what i would say to do now let me say i also ch changed my inventory stickers i went from using the tape to using these avery labels right here the only problem i'm having with those is that again my handwriting isn't that great right now and it's hard to write on the tiny little label. So I may switch that out at some point. I may invest in some inventory labels, but right now that's just not financially feasible for me. So I will continue to use those little Avery labels until I run out. I believe there's 20 in a box and I believe there's like 20 labels on each of the little sticker sheets. Um, I got them at Walmart. That's what I use. So. Let's show you what it looks like once I get it all together and place it into the box that it's actually going to be stored in. So here it is. This is the box. So this is a, let me show you a picture of it. This is a Sterling and it, it is a 19 gallon. Show you that. I got this at Walmart. Um, I will say, depending on the time of year it is, you can either pay anywhere between $13.88 or $9.88. So it seems cheaper um, during the back to school time. They're usually about $9.88 and more expensive any other time. It's $13. Um, I think it's like $13.88. So here's what is on the front of it. I purchased these little adhesive squares. I got 20 of them from Target for $3. I don't think you can get these anymore, but if you can find them online, it's worth it. So here it is. That's what it looks like. It's just those little squares right there. Now I got this box and I put the square on the front of it. I created these little tags. It's just a piece of paper that I printed um, something on it. This one says accessories purses, belts, etc. Um, the other ones have like kids clothes or women's clothing. And um, it's just simple. It's just a sheet of paper. I didn't buy a label to put in there or anything. I just sheet of paper, cut it down to size and put it on the front of it. What I did do was I have a silhouette machine or a cutting machine. Um, some people have Cricut. I have silhouette and I cut out these numbers here. Now the significance of that is that 
I have more than one box that says accessories and belts on it. That numbering system made it easy for me. So on my spreadsheet, I simply look for the item. I look to see what box it's in. And then I go pull it out of that box. Let's open the box. So here's my inventory. It's all in packages. It all has numbers on it. It is one right after the other to the back of it. And it's easy for me just to look at the top to find the inventory number and pull the item, stick it in a package, and then ship it out. It works way easier now that I've added these numbers on there because sometimes you might have more than one box that's labeled something unless you use a system where it's the alphabet which a lot of people use but for me that just didn't work and this did now this might not make sense for you you do what you think works best for you you use the products that you think you can afford or what you have at home that works for you so I hope that this video helped you out I hope that it inspired you. I hope that it gave you an idea of maybe something that you can use. Maybe not this system, but a system that will work for you. Next week, we're going to be talking about listing. And is it really that easy to list an item on Poshmark? I'm going to show you if it is or isn't. So we will see you next week. Have a great weekend.